Oh. You're out of your mind. We're about to do a shadow long ball. Where are your golf shoes at? He's a liar. <laughs> Does nobody know how to yell fucking cut? Hi, my name is Dennis. I am the founder of Long Ball Hard Ice Tea, and you will have heard of us or tried us or drank us somewhere near you in the next six months or we'll be gone. <laughs> I'm born and raised in San Diego. We're actually, I think, over 100 years here in total, four generations. Just the traditional Irish family that came here from Ireland. Hard times, big families, Catholic, and the rest is history, but they got lucky and they, they went straight to San Diego. My grandpa O'Connor came here. He was a 14-year-old professional boxer. He boxed in TJ. Um, there's some old San Diego Union Tribune articles about him. I have two little girls, three-year-old and a one-year-old. She just turned one just this last weekend. So that's been fun, uh, but it also has been really a tough thing for me, I'm trying to find hours in the day to dedicate to family and to get it, dedicate to business, especially a project like this that seems to be taking a lot of time and I have to give it some serious focus for it to be successful. It's been tough, but it's also rewarding. COVID hit, we were all playing a lot more golf and we just really didn't like anything on the golf course, you know, cause it's a six hour day. You know, everyone's always just kind of drank the beers and done the fireballs and the Jaeger. And it's something that you can't drink a lot of like beer. At some point you just get bloated and full and you don't like it. Or it's something that's really heavy in the spirit category. You know, you're doing shots of tequila if you make a birdie and you're feeling that. So we tried to get something that was a little bit more sessionable, a little bit more, I guess, better for you. It's not as tart as the uh, Bloody Mary, it's not as bloated. As a beer. What I really like about Long Ball, I think it's a culmination of everything I've learned in the last you know, 10 years on the manufacturing side. It's a quality product made with real ingredients, something that I want to drink all the time. We went the all natural route, the low sugar route. It's three ingredients, it's all natural, it's tea, it's lemon, it's alcohol, that's it. <music> What's going on, guys? We're out here at Seal Canyon in San Diego. We're here for the Long Ball Tournament. We've got the helicopter in the back doing the 50-50 ball drop raffle. you got the golf ballers here, and we're going to come out and win this scramble. We're starting off on a par five. Get ready for an eagle. We're getting after it. Let's baby. get it, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, that's a high-quality spin. This is your absolute beast. Come on. Eagle. 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 I'm one of the original founders of Thorn Brewing over 10 years now. Also opened up a distillery right next door to Thorn, which I also founded called Rebrew. Long Ball is one of our latest and greatest creations. I think it's our best shot at this whole thing. And it's aptly named Long Ball because we're swinging for the fences. Is a winner, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! You know, San Diego really is the Silicon Valley of, of alcoholic beverages, and you know, we're standing on the shoulders of giants in a lot of ways. I mean, you think about the stones and the ballast points that have been around for a very long time that you know pretty much created the craft beer, West Coast IPAs, a lot of those styles. So, there's 200 breweries in San Diego. There's something that's called pay to play, and it's illegal, but everybody in the industry knows that everybody that's big does it. And it's funny because those laws were supposed to help smaller brands to break up monopolies. But what ends up happening is these bigger brands just have you know, more money than God. And so they are able to cut people out in the way of you know, marketing partnership agreements or, or something like that. That level of competition kind of raises the bar and makes people here have to create something special. No way! No way! No way! Yeah!
I don't care if we win, I'm here for the good time. Over the last 10 or so years, the number of people that come up and go, oh, congratulations about Thorne, or congratulations about Reber, or congratulations about Longball. And the funny thing is, I've never cashed a check from any of those endeavors. You know, there's a reason why I still have my tax practice and work my butt off. Scaling the businesses and taking on this big facility and going for a distribution footprint where margins are very thin and kind of just catching stride pre-COVID and then COVID hits and then we didn't let go of employees. We uh, took on about a million dollars in debt, um, 750 with the bank, another 250 with the EID, all the SBA loan, which to this day, neither of them are paid off. So we've got a million in debt. Craft beer sales disappeared overnight. All draft disappeared because all bars and restaurants are closed. And we've never really fully recovered from that. We've never gotten back to pre-pandemic sales. Since then, I personally relinquished or gave up my shares to the company so that the company could sell it and have money to kind of keep on trucking. These lovely young ladies are about to procure shots of long ball for us. So we have power to swing. Our shot? Yes. Yeah, Never mind, I take it all back. <laughs> this is what I got. <laughs> Do I have any friends that want to join me for these giant shots? Yeah. The long balls. Yeah. Either you got them or you don't. For some weird reason. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. So my strategy is to continue filling myself with long ball and hitting the balls perfectly. Not long. Does nobody know how to yell fucking cut? Yeah, I mean, what's at stake is it's a ton of time. I mean, for me, it's the last 10 years of my life, you know? This thing, every, any money that it made got reinvested in it. Any money it didn't made came from other places. You know, there's investors, a lot of which are friends and family. There's a lot of my savings. There's a lot of people's jobs. I think a lot of people's happiness is invested in this. So it's success, I think, could change people's lives. It struck a chord with people. There's a lot of the tournaments that we've done. People have really gone back to their home states and told their clubs about it. We've had golf courses in other states you know, hit us up saying, how do we get it over here? When are you gonna get distributed on the East Coast? It's happened to a lot of places locally too, which again is, you know, I think it's very rare to have something in San Diego where people are getting pitched stuff all the time to actually have, you know, accounts reaching out to you saying, hey, we've got members and we've got people that really want it. Mm. Delicious. Off frame, you know, there is a man that we will not name for many reasons. I believe he called out uh, work today. He's has food poisoning, but um, he's a liar and he likes to golf and he's looking out here to get get a little hammer, get some balls, get some long balls. I called it six on their paranoia oh, that my boss is gonna find yeah. out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, oh my god. That's in. That's in the hole. Oh, oh, let's go! Let's go! 